The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge, where door hardware nerds get together and we knock and slam on different door fells. We learn, we laugh, and sometimes we even cry because of how bad these door installs and security install fells are. Today, we do have a very special guest, Mr. Chris Wilson, a special nerd, I guess. Is it okay if I call you a nerd? You're a door hardware nerd. Nerd is a compliment, so absolutely. Nerds are cool now. Did you know that? Growing up, I was a nerd and I was not cool, but now nerds are cool, right? I definitely suck at that. Yeah. The coolest people I know are the nerds. There you go. Welcome, Chris. Why don't you hop on, say hello, tell us a little bit about what you do and a uh, fun fact. Yeah, appreciate it. So Chris Wilson, I'm with Mead & Hunt. We're at AEC, Architect Engineering Consulting Firm. I'm the security technology market lead. So I look after the security technology group, working with our clients. So we do a lot of work in a variety of different verticals, but working with them on the physical security elements that they have going on. Fun fact about me that most people don't know is I was actually published in a book of poetry back in the day. So I'm a published poet. It's been a couple of years. We won't go there, but yeah, I actually had a poem published a couple of years back. So most people don't know that about me. Oh my goodness. You're a poet and I didn't even know it. You know, most people didn't know it, but now the secret's out. Maybe this is my fun fact. I don't know if you knew this. I used to write poetry growing up in high school. I took a creative writing class and like fell in love with it and I, you know I thought it was really cool and I thought it would get me girls in high school you know like writing poetry it, it didn't work I was like we could have like a spoken word session at one of the events coming up I see this in our future yeah there you go <laughs> that's awesome Chris I had no idea send me a copy or send me a where it's published I'll support I'll download that do, awesome, do, thank you. do you have a favorite poet you know over the years I was always a Robert Frost fan so it just kind of an oldie but a goodie I've gotten away from poetry over the years but for a couple years there yeah it was a good creative outlet to have so it's fun yeah i'm an emerson fan mm. no big deal i'm so glad you're on the show chris thank you for joining us and i'm so glad that i know that you're a professional poet if you're published that's professional i think so i don't think there's any poetry olympics coming up soon so publish is the top bar that we're going for we went to security after that there's nowhere else for me to go awesome well thanks again for joining us mia you want to hop on and say hello yeah hello episode 28 can you believe it? Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. This little channel that we started. So yes, welcome to this episode. My fun fact is less fun than Chris's. I have a degree in engineering and I have worked here, obviously, and at another company and I do not have a patent. I'm like one of the only engineers here that does not have a patent. So I don't know what that says about me, but yeah, it's the opposite of what Chris has going on. Published poet, unpatented engineer. The other engineers don't have a channel so there you yeah, go sure we'll go with that. <laughs> hardware nerds <laughs> what patent door hardware nerds <laughs> yes maybe trademark now okay. you need to be the friend I'm just gonna lock that down. Yeah. Okay. So for those who don't know how Unhinge works, I will share my screen with a different door fill install on here. Chris, with your background in security and integration and consulting, I spun the pictures a little bit more your way. So don't worry, it's gonna be right up your alley. And I feel like you could even keep up with the best of dorks and nerds on the hardware side of things as well. So I will share my screen. We'll all knock and slam on it. Then we'll give it a knocking score. One being not not too knocking bad and 10 being pretty knocking bad. Let's get Chris's company in there to help fix this, right? Like, let's make this right. Let's call the AHJ. Let's make it happen. How does that sound? Are you ready? We're never you know. ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Those geese get like angry. Like they will come at you and they are not light about it. Yeah. Especially if they're nesting in this area. Like if they have a nest there, they're very protective and they will die like trying to attack you. <laughs> geese are scary. Like geese are one of those like, Oh, look, it's a duck. It's not a duck. That's a dinosaur right there. This falls into that category of like, there's a sign there because it was a problem for somebody before. Like, that's why we have a sign up. So, yep, absolutely. That is not good. You know, a couple of weeks ago here, they ripped out the front bushes and then they put grass seed down. And for two days, we had 20 geese out there eating the grass seed. That front area, I'm sure, gets geese over there all the time. It does. Yeah. Flying down from Canada. Stopping over at Asa Abloy to get a little snack. 
<laughs> Actually, isn't there a coyote statue to scare away the geese? Yeah, they're like the flamingos for your lawn, but it's like coyote. They don't work. <laughs> yeah, no, I was going to say, like, there was like geese right next to it last time I was there. Yeah. The geese are hanging out like, hey, look, we got a friend. Check this guy out. Well, at least it's a glass door and we can see through that the goose is there, right? At least it's not a metal door where we can't see what's going on out there. We just get surprise goose attack on the way out. You can see your attacker right there. So you know that you can be prepared to have a fight here. Exactly. You can choose your own destiny here. Do you want to go for the goose attack or not? Or comical, obviously. But one thing to like knock on it, would you hesitate to exit out this door in a case of emergency? No way. No. I'm going out. I think it depends on where the other door is located. Yeah, this seems like a main entrance out to the parking lot or a used entrance or exit. I don't have any context of if it's on the path of egress or anything, but I'm assuming it's a main entrance because of all the cars right there. Yeah, yeah I thought is like if it's a vestibule and right on the other side of the vestibule is a door, maybe in an emergency, I would go that way. It depends on if I'm the first one coming out. In case of an emergency, send another co-worker out this door first. Usually... Yeah. The first one out in the emergency, but no, this time, you know, like have a little, uh, what, what do they call it? Meat shield in front of you. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah. This feels to me like it's some sort of like an entrance that's used pretty regularly. There's like writing on the door up at the top. Like you're right, Mia, it depends on where the other door is, but otherwise if we're talking serious emergency, I'm taking my chances with the goose. I'm going for it. Goose or fire, goose or fire. Oh, mm. my wife was attacked by a goose as a kid. And so she's like terrified of geese. So she might double take, you know, she might pause here for a second. Yeah. I mean, bodily harm or bodily harm. <laughs> Either way, mind it's death. Do you want death? <laughs> A goose, or do you want some <laughs> herbal, right? Like, I don't know the stats on how many people die annually by goose attack, but <laughs> I'm guessing it's low as compared to other emergencies. So there's a stat out there on that somewhere. Yeah, it's like shark attacks, right? Only like six people die of shark attacks every year, but yet people are terrified of sharks. And yet humans are fishing and killing millions and millions of sharks every year. So that doesn't seem fair. They need a bigger bite, right? <laughs> exactly. I saw a stat one time that said that more people are killed annually by donkeys than plane crashes. And I was like, it's an interesting comparison. So I don't know where goose to fire plays into donkey versus plane crash, but it's, <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Okay. I don't even know if we can give this a knocking score. Oh, you guys want to give it a knocking score? I thought it was kind of funny. It's a one. Yeah, I think it's a one. I would say as a consultant, I get this is a problem, but we probably should do something about this, right? Like there's probably a deterrent, like noisemaker or something that would deter the goose away so that we don't have this problem and we could take the sign down for aesthetic reasons, but at least they put the sign up. I'd go with a one. Yeah, I'm with you. It's probably affecting the user experience of the building, but like, I'm sure these people aren't that inconvenienced by a goose. I would understand like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, I don't want to be bothering this goose nest or something like that, but I'm with you. Like, there's probably something you could do to, you know, safely remove the goose from the area. Agreed. And I'm not that afraid of geese, so I'm fine with it. If my wife was giving a score, she'd give this a 10. Automatic 10, <laughs> for sure. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a picture to submit, you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com.